So in this part, we're going to subdivide our geometry. And as we can see, the edges of our assets are very rough, so we want to smoothen this out. And to do this, we're going to have to change the type of our poly mesh to sub D mesh. And this is an attribute, so in Katana, you can override attributes using an attribute set. So if I hit tab and attribute set over here and drag this over or underneath the geometry and hit E to expose its parameters. Now, what this needs to know is what geometry to set this attribute on. So you can either middle mouse button drag um, your path over here, or you can also use cell. So cell statements can either be or can be a mixture of uh, paths, collection, or custom. So we're going to use paths and control select the assets we want. Middle mouse button drag this over here. And so just to give you a quick uh, a quick glimpse over this, um, you can either do a collection or um, a custom. And this is a very powerful, it can be very powerful because then you can really just um, have a whole bunch of um, expressions, um, collections. So what a collection is, is a, a selection of, um, of geometry grouped together. And that is predefined. Um, so we're just going to remove this, but this is just to show how, how powerful cell can be. Now, the attribute you want to override is um, the one called type, and this is a string. And we can call this, well, we will sort call this sub D mesh. And now my geometry is subdivided. So if I preview render, you'll see that it is nice and smooth. 